Today I'm sitting down with Professor Cedric Hackett and we're going to be talking about the NFL's potential ban of the use of the N-word. Why do you think now? Why are they trying to ban the N-word now? The incident in Philadelphia, which uh, one receiver was uh, captured on tape for, for using uh, that racial epitaph, that uh, they want to do something to try to uh, minimize and uh, really focus on uh, the, the game of football. And so football player Richard Sherman said, banning the N-word is an atrocious idea. It's almost racist to me. Why wouldn't all curse words be banned? Why do you think players like Richard Sherman are opposing the ban? I think, um, you know, Richard coming from um, Compton and hearing that word quite often um, and using that word quite often, you know, uh, you know, to describe friends um, or, you know, the, the term is almost used in, could have so many different meanings, you mm -hmm. know, in terms of how it's, uh, the voice intonation describes it like, nigga, 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 you know, okay. those kind of things. Oh, what's up, nigga? Those kind of things could be construed as a term of endearment. 70% of the NFL is made up of African American men. Why can't they police the word themselves? Why do you think it's such a problem for them to just kind of stop using it? African Americans, and men in particular, have done is that they've taken this term uh, that was traditionally used uh, to dehumanize uh, uh, and they reappropriated to a, a you know, a positive term. Mm -hmm. And so they, they changed the vernacular. So it went from nigger to nigga. Um, that's been a, a survival mechanism for African Americans through, throughout the, you know, this period, 20th and 21st century. So I know that you coach a youth football team as well as I think a junior college football team. So are you seeing the word being thrown around at practice while, while you're coaching and how do you handle that? I'm an athletic counselor okay. for a community college, but uh, a, uh, for a community college athletic department. And they use that term all the time. They use it in hallways, they use it on the field. Um, it's something that's not going away. And uh, what I try to do is, is try to get them uh, to recognize how it's sounding in front of a group, um, how they sound you know, themselves. Last question is, do you think that other sports will follow in the NFL's kind of um, pattern and start policing various words and slurs and things of that nature? I think so. I think um, the NFL uh, is like one of the, the, the big organizations that we all watch. And I think other teams and other units like baseball and, um, and uh, you know, basketball will start to use that term. So that's all the time that we have for today. Thank you for sitting down with me. I really appreciate it.